you today how to change just the backgrounds in Lightroom without even going into Photoshop. So I've selected just very quickly three images from my recent gallery of a family studio shoot in my studio room. And as you can see, the backdrop has got a blue hue to it. The floor is gray. Uh, so I need to make the backdrop all completely gray. And I also would like to darken it. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little icon here and this is going to create a layer mask. This drop down will appear and I'm going to select subject. Now it's going to work its magic. All right, and it's selected everybody inside. So we want to affect the backgrounds and not the subjects. So I'm going to click on these three little dots and I'm going to invert it. All right, and that looks pretty good. So I am going to now, uh, the red overlay mask is showing you exactly what has been selected. So I'm going to uncheck this and now I'm going to use this panel here to desaturate the backgrounds and to darken it. So. I'm going down to here to the saturation slider and I'm going to slide it all the way to the left and as you can see it has removed all of the colour. Next I'm going to reduce or yep I'm going to decrease the exposure because I would like it to be darker to about there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and I'm going to sync. Now I'm going to check none and I'm just going to click on masking and synchronize the three images. So this is the second image and as you can see nothing has happened but that's because every single image it, the, the uh, Lightroom needs to reselect because every image is different. So automatically this comes up to update. So I'm going to click on update. All right, and voila, it's done a fantastic job. I'm going to click on the next image and update. And there we go. So the only thing that I will I would like to do here is I would like to desaturate this ladder as well. So clicking on this image, I'm going to uh, show the overlay and I'm going to add to the selection. So I'm now going to choose the brush tool and I'm going to paint over the ladder. can zoom in. Oops. So as you can see I made a little <laughs> mistake and uh, now so what I did there is I clicked on the erase button and then I am just going to bring that little section back. All right, zoom back out and take this off. Uh, it is quite dark, so what I would also do is perhaps just bring up this, bring up the exposure just a little bit there on this one. All right, and click done. Going to go back to the first image, and I'm just going to crop. So holding down the shift key here and like this, make sure it's center, click on the enter button, go to the next image, and holding the shift key, I'm just going to go down, 
and crop it to about here. It's not ideal to chop off hands, but I really don't want to be editing out this background here, so I'm just going to do this in this instance. Oops, right, enter. And then over onto the third image, crop tool, holding the shift key down. And I'm just going to enter about here. All right, back to the first image. So we have this little section still left here. So I'm going to click on the healing tool and just draw a line in here. Choose another area for it to clone to. All right, and also there's this little line here. So I'm just going to use the healing tool there as well. All right, and then I'm going to go on to the next image. That all looks good. Third image. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to go across there. And here. And there as well. So I'm just going to click here and just move it up a bit where it's uh, cloning from. All right, and then I'm going to click done. Okay, so also in this image, you can see there's this funny crease in the backdrop. So again, using the healing tool, I am just going to paint on this area here. And then click done. And it's done a beautiful job of that. Here, yeah, that's all good. And here. And I just want to look here. So the only thing I would do here is just bring up the exposures just a little bit. And here. And no, that's absolutely fine. And that is it. And then I would export those images out uh, into a folder on my Mac. So I hope that helps you today. And uh, I look forward to doing another video for you.